Okay, here we are, uh, last of the AOPA regional fly-ins, a lot of interesting conventional airplanes, and then you show up with a turbine RV-10? Come on now. Well, it's about time, actually. <laughs> we have been uh, looking in GA for an affordable uh, turboprop that is quality manufactured. This TP100 produces 250 equivalent horsepower, $25 million of research and development in this engine, so it's not a fly-by-night operation. Actually, at PBS, the factory, there are 800 employees, and they're pretty diverse. But now they're focused on this turboprop and bringing it to market. The end game in order to recover that kind of money is to certify it. So out of the box, we're going to fly it hard. We're looking for 1,500 hours initial TBO that would grow to 3,000. We have hopes for more, but that's the plan. The other issue is certification of a turboprop. Right now, Part 33 is the same for a CFM 56 or a Rolls-Royce Tay and this little guy. We have preliminary talks about maybe making a Part 33A for 400 horsepower and less to make it less onerous. Mm -hmm. The quality is self-evident in the installation and also the flying. The ability to burn jet fuel, smoothness, quiet cockpit, quiet ground noise. All the way around, it's great. What's your experience been with this particular plant form? We picked the RV-10 because it's a good stable platform and has a good reputation. We're very pleased with the RV-10 this morning when we're getting over 170 knots on the way up. And the engine has performed flawlessly. We have not put any oil in this engine in the 80 hours that we've flown it. And we've had a few birthing issues with the RV-10, which are normal, but the engine is incredible. The FADEC has performed flawlessly. Single button start and stop. You can't over torque. You can't over temp. No hung starts. It goes on and on. It's really a delight. Well, the obvious question somebody's going to ask when they come up and look at this is go, how much? Well, right now we're selling it for 110000 I get two responses from some of the home builders. I get, wow, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. From the turbine guys, I get, how do you do it? So we have a vision for certification. The performance will be well documented on our website, Turbine Solutions Groups. It's all there. We have uh, photographs of the installation going together and some of the flights, some of the flight testing, and that's the site where all the flight test data will be posted. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.